The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Stan Harley will be our guest today at the break. Tomorrow will be none other than Tim Bost, and that will end up the week. Folks, I posted a chart in here from a house that was uh, built 80 years ago in London. The lady found a newspaper with a picture of the ad, and uh, it was really amazing. Now, you want to guess? What that, you know, I'm going to, you wouldn't believe what the house would be worth now. You're talking seven figures minimum. But uh, the house uh, was originally sold 80 years ago for 695 pounds. Now, remember, 80 years ago, the pound was probably six or seven, maybe $10. So you're talking about 6,000 U.S. dollars. So anyway, that's uh, what you're looking at here with that. Uh, wild markets, folks. I'll go into some of this. First of all, I wanted to cover the, uh, the markets here that we're looking at here in the uh, – in the European markets, you'll notice here the first one that we're going to take a look at here is the FTSE. And, of course, we've been really, really strong. This was why we were so strong uh, in the middle of the night when the Dow was you know, up about 250. It dropped to be down 50 right before the opening, and it gapped 150 points on the opening the index did, which you just don't see that very often. And that took the S&P uh, up quite a bit. I'll go into that a little bit later, but we'll look here. Uh, the next one is the German DAX. And of course, they have this election coming up over there, and it's going to be pretty much, uh, you know, that is what we're looking at here. That's uh, that's what we're looking at here uh, on this thing. So you can see, you know, this is still a downtrend. We haven't reached. We might have reached that uh, price objective in the DAX, but there's a German election. If that goes badly, you know, God only knows. Folks, let let me let me. I try to help you best I can here. You know, these patterns get a little boring, but we have a. I have a really good student up in uh, Canada, Mike. Mike, I hope you're listening, buddy, because I want to give you a ten cents worth of my experience. Uh, he asked me a question about the Russian stocks and the European stocks and and all these other stocks that are they're involved in the European countries. The the problem is, Mike, I can't follow that stuff for two reasons. One, it's too hard for me to trade, and I have no interest in it at all. So that's my reasoning behind it. I'm sure there's great opportunities, but uh, I think that you read too much. If, But, you know, I don't read at all, so that, there's a big difference here. Just a perfect example today, when you open Bloomberg, the biggest news on Bloomberg this morning, and I'm talking about, oh, 2 o'clock in the morning here, uh, uh Tucson time was the explosive bullish move in Evergrande up 17 percent folks it went from two dollars and 24 cents or two dollars and 17 cents to two dollars and 26 cents I know that's 17 percent but if you look at it on the chart you would literally fall over and laugh the second one was that the tapering had been moved back from 2030 2023 as reported yesterday to November and that that also was was BS. I mean, that's amazing. When I started looking at these markets back in 1960 and 61, I would go into Dr. Noblet's office and I would look at his uh, his charts up on the wall and everything. And I'd look at the Wall Street Journal. And you know where the Wall Street Journal was? It was in the bottom of Oscar's cage. He had a parrot, a white parrot. Well, I guess yeah, it was a, no, it was a parrot. It wasn't a cockatoo. It was a white parrot that talked pretty good. And anyway, he would use the Wall Street Journal for the lining of the thing. He got the Wall Street Journal free because of being at the college, so university. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is why I'm a technician is listening to that stuff. But when we – what we did last night, and I, I have to go over this because people have been asking me about it all, all morning long. We had a perfect A, B, C, D pattern. I'm going to show it to you right here. This is where I did. I put the order in long before it took off. You'll be able to see here. We went right up to 44.20. The high was 44.21. We broke all the way down to 43.95. When we broke 4,400 on the downside, I sent out a special about 20 minutes before it happened, well, half hour or so before it happened, to put the stop at break even. 
And I had no I had no idea that it was going to do that. I really didn't. I mean, people say, how did you know? I didn't. The only thing I did do is people Skype me and say, well, great trade, great trade, great trade. And you know, that means about as much as, uh, you know, a snowball in the middle of July. But I I said, no, that you. I just put my stop at break even. We've had a really good run. We, you know, some of the folks we've been talking to, you know, been shorting the bonds. We've been telling everybody here. I didn't put it into the, the 24-7 because they had too much other stuff off. We had a great two moves in the euro, which was great. A fabulous trade in gold. We sold gold. Let's just bring this up here. We had a beautiful 135 pattern in the gold. Did the same thing with the gold. I moved my stop down a little bit too much, but you can see here we're having a pretty good break and folks i i think i've got a handle on the gold market thanks to one of our friends down in south africa he showed me a chart that i just absolutely couldn't believe on the relationship between uh, gold and something else and i'm going to be doing some work on that because i think we're setting up for a really good buy in the gold market we might even take out that 1670 level uh, and if we do, that's what we'll be looking for uh, to be watching it. So that's what we're watching. But the reason why I wanted to show you this e-mini e chart to get back to it is because of the fact that where we stopped, this is the reason why I put that order in, is because where we stopped, it was exactly a 382 of the low we made after the Fed, which was down there at 43.75. I have my, my limit minders come on to tell me that, that that's it and it hit that and it bounced and as soon as it did that I, I sent it out fortunately everybody got it it was a break-even trade I know it's like kissing your sister but if your sister's good looking like mine it might not be a bad idea but anyway I, I personally think that we are still going down and we're going to take out this low at 42.96 and we'll find that out but I just want to give you my two cents of why we're looking at that now I try to, as we, oh, by the way, open, on that big run up yesterday in the S&P and the Dow up of almost 500 points or whatever it was, the open interest dropped in all of those futures contracts, folks. That's not a bullish sign. Uh, there's no new buying coming in. It's just short covering. And uh, so that's it, you know, <laughs> just the way we're looking at it. So we have to pay attention to that. The reason why, if you remember on the bonds, I, I told you or suggested to you when we were looking at the notes and the bonds at the same time is the fact that we've got that really strong support line down here. We're setting on it right now, folks. I, I haven't updated the chart this morning, but that Treasury note is sitting right there. Anything lower today, if the if the Treasury bonds go below 162, uh oh, that's going to be that's going to be a problem. See, and it's going to go below 1, 162, folks, because there's no way that they can possibly pay for all this stuff except to bring out Treasury bonds at a higher interest rates. To, you know, to to suck people in. Oh, I got to have that interest rates. And remember the quote from uh, Bernard Baruch: Don't be re don't be concerned on the return on your money. Be concerned on the return of your money. And that's the exact opposite of what our Treasury is going to be feeding us, just like they did when they tried to tell us that Tapioca City, i.e., negative interest rates, were a foregone conclusion. Now, here we are a year later. Duh. Hello. Where are we here? And then you wonder why I'm a technician? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Well, anyway, we'll have some good ideas from Stan Harley, of course. We've got some other things to cover here when we get back. like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and you're not going to believe this, what I'm going to tell you next, so sit down. We've got a caller that got through. Rob in Michigan, are you there? I'm here, Larry. How are you? Live, living the dream, baby. What can I help you with? Excellent. Hey, um, calling, well, first of all, I love the show, and the guests you have and whatnot, uh, it's, it's fantastic. But um, calling is that um, two psychoanalysts that I follow were looking for a turn, uh, a top in, in early September, which appears we got and ideally a low around the um, 17th, 20th of September. But they're looking for another turn down, ideally in the, in the mid-November. Um, ideally, directional change the week of October 4th, but they have noted a possibility of many stocks topping around the 27th, 28th, which I find interesting with Mercury going retrograde about the same time. But I'm, calling, I'm curious with the S&P from a, a Fibonacci standpoint, Maybe some targets you have to maybe look to go back either long the VIX or um, shorting the market again? Well, I, I will tell you this. I'll just post up the chart that I'm looking at right now. Uh, I, it's pretty close to being uh, pretty much spot on uh, from where it was. But you'll notice here that we, we exceeded the 382 retracement. We made a perfect ABCD, uh, and then we backed off. Uh, we backed off quite a bit, actually. We backed off 25 handles, and then we went 35 handles up to 44.45. And uh, I, someone said that's where the 50-day moving average is, which, you know, I don't count that at all. But uh, that is a three drive to a top pattern. Any move above 44.60 will tell us we might be making new highs. And if we do, Rob, the only uh -huh. way you're going to reach me is by email because I am going to call it quits. It's time for the old <laughs> cowboy to – no, I'm serious. Hey, Bubba, I'm serious. If this, <laughs> if this thing – I've been saying that every year, fortunately, each time they catch me. But uh, I've retired 56 times in my 60-year career. But uh, I really believe that we're not going to make a new high. All we're seeing now is explosive moves, volatility like we haven't seen it a long time and i've been screaming that for a long time so this surprised me today because believe me i i sold it right at the high at 40 44 20 the high was 44 21 it dropped 25 handles and i was starting to get skype messages from people saying great trade great trade i said uh oh and I said, I know what to do with this one. So I put my stop at break even. And by golly, in about an hour later, 
I couldn't believe it when I heard the beeper go off. I wasn't even watching the machine at the time, and the Dow opened 180 higher and jumped 400 points, and that was history. So, I believe I believe we're topping today. That's uh, I think this okay. should be the top today. We'll go down, make new lows. But, but that uh, whether is true, this, isn't it the 27th around there? Mercury does go retrograde into I think October. Yeah, yeah, 17th. I believe that we're we're going to have Norm Winsky on uh, probably next week, and okay. he'll go over that with us. But uh, yes, I believe it is around that time. I don't follow it, they, and Shane Smolian follows it quite a bit. And you know we'll have Tim Boston and that's on where tomorrow. I caught it. I caught it. He yeah. referenced it, I think yeah. about a week ago. Sure. Shane did. Yeah. That's where I first yeah. heard that though. And sure. Then, um, yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. And, and yeah. if you want to call in tomorrow, Tim, if you're able to get through, you might start calling about an hour early. I suggest, <laughs> and you might you be able to sneak. Short, Larry, you do a great job. You really do. But uh, I have, well, thank, I have thank fun you as doing always, it. Though. I appreciate. Hey, it. thanks, Rob. Uh, take Keep care. Keep living Bye. the dream. Yeah, you bet. Get ready for winter. It's due tomorrow over there in Michigan. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, S&P chart one more time, and you'll see that's what I was talking about, the fact that it's up there. And I, I'm serious, folks. I really don't believe it's going to make a new high. We're just seeing tremendous volatility. And if you look at the you know advanced decline line and all the other stuff, that's pretty much it. And that's the way, you know, that's the way this has been the greatest bull market of all time. You think it's going to give up easily? Hello, Federal. You know, look where we stopped at 42.96. That was 42.93. That was one standard deviation down, standing exactly at the 78% retracement. My goodness. And, and you know what's what's hilarious about this is that when it was at that day right there, John Jameson was telling me, he said, you know, if it makes an ABCD off of this pattern here, it measures to exactly what we were looking for with those four targets at 46.13. And hey, believe me, it could do it. Any market that can go up 50, 60 points a day like this one, for whatever reason, I mean, it, it could possibly make 46.13. If it does, uh, I'll be surprised and I'll be, uh, well, I, I won't stand in front of it. Let's just put it that way. Okay, the next one I wanted to mention to you is about the euro. Because if you remember, we were talking about this pattern just the other day, that it was supposed to make an ABCD pattern up there at 17.78. That was the high after the Fed came in, it hit that, went down, and make all new lows. Now, folks, the euro is one of the reasons. A gentleman over in uh, across the pond over there that was talking to me about this is uh, is one of the reasons what what's operating the gold market because uh, the, there's a tremendous correlation that he showed me. Not the normal cor correlation that you look at, but after I do some research on that, I will share it with you folks in here because, gosh, it's really clear that it looks like gold wants to go down. Uh, maybe one more time below the 1770 uh, level and then, excuse me, 1670 level, wiping everybody out and then get ready for, you know, something really spectacular. But they have to, it has to all fit together. And so far, it uh, it hasn't really uh, done that at all. Uh, we've had a minor bottom formed here in the natural gas. Those of you that have been looking at that, when we got down to that 470 level yesterday, if you go back and look at the charts, you'll see that that was a 78% retracement of that last low that we had. And we've had a really nice uh, two two point uh, move in the uh, to well, actually two thousand dollar move in, in the natural gas today if you were watching it I don't trade that very often but I but I was watching it you know quite a bit to uh, take a look at it let me show you why this thing is so crazy because when you get this is the Dow Jones industrial average as of last night and you'll notice here that uh, it stopped at the 382 yesterday and then today it looked I mean it was all set to really just have a two-day rally in a bear market, and it just gapped up. And once it went through that 382 there, which is a 3440, up about 100. Once it, in fact, it opened 150 higher, I think, something like that, very close. And boom, I mean, it just took off and, you know, just ran like heck. I don't know if the Dow Jones Industrial Average itself made 34,860, but if someone would be so kind to tell me that, I'd like to know if it made that 61% retracement to see if it's going to do that. We've got uh, Stan Harley is our guest. If you, got a, if you have a chance to call in, it's 877-927-6648. And I highly suggest that you start calling in real early because, uh, you know, it's hard to get through. And uh, But when you can, it's certainly nice to hear folks from all over the country. And uh, that's what we'd like to hear you doing. Those of you that are seeing me here on the, uh, the video, I actually uh, – this is my office, that little P 
painting back there, that big oil painting is the one I always talk about that I was given as a gift back in 1976 when I was at Drexel. And that's the highlight of uh, what I look at. And it's uh, he who knows not what he risks, risks all is what it says in that little red ribbon here. The high is 34. Hey, it made the 61% retracement. Thank you, Dan. By golly, thank you, Basil. That's uh, basil. It's not basil. Basil is what you put in sauce. Hey, sorry. Sorry, my friend. Anyway, but that I think that was the exact 61% uh, retracement as I as I live in breathe. No, I think it was off by just a tiny bit. Let's uh, let's look at that again. One more time here. It was uh, the, the, the 618 was at 34860. So it was within a couple ticks. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Stan Harley. We'll be right back, boys. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley on the line of Harley Stock Market Letters. Are you there, Stan? Hello, Larry. I am indeed. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. I thought we had Stan on the line, but it doesn't look like we have. So let's just uh, keep talking and see if we can find out uh, where Stan is. He said he was coming on, and I've got his charts. Uh, let me know when he 
Hello, when he Mark. arrived. Can you hear me? Hey, hey, Stan Harley, how are you, my friend? I'm just doing awesome. Am I coming through loud and clear? Perfect, perfect. I wanted to thank you for sending me the information about uh, Richard Mogi passing away because I, I was very, uh, I liked him very much and done a lot of work with he and Stephen Bush over the years when they were at the foundation. And I, I know you knew him well. So he was a really a stand up guy and he was young too. Gee, I, I, and he died of COVID, I understand. So that was, uh, that's actually the, I think it's the second person that I actually knew that have, has died of that disease, but he had a few underlying things that he had been bothered with. But uh, why don't you tell us what you're looking at today, Stan? These markets are so boring and unvolatile. What <laughs> Anything you can tell us? Well, absolutely. Uh, if we've got the first chart, perhaps we can pull that yes, out. Yes, sir. Yeah, we do. We had the first one up, uh, I think, without any trouble at all. I've got it. That's the one on the, uh, I believe it's the Fibonacci uh, uh, weekly time count that you're looking at? Yes, indeed. Uh, Larry, uh, it's my belief that the market is in a corrective process right now. Okay. And uh, we're, we're heading south. We're in a little snapback right now, perhaps a three-day snap. Mm-hmm. Uh, my work and I'm looking for a low vicinity of October the 5th plus or minus and then we might have a retest in mid-November uh, but uh, we we had a, uh, a progressive topping evolution and uh, mm -hmm. what we saw is the saw the Dow transports which are frequently the first to top out in an intermediate cycle they topped out back on May the 10th and the Dow industrials peaked out on August 16th the S&P and the New York comp topped on September 2nd and then lastly, the NASDAQ comp topped out on September the 7th, and we're in the process of trending lower. Um, we had a low on Monday. That was uh, about a 21-day cycle low, 20, 21-day cycle low, but I don't believe that was the, the low point in the downtrend. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we've got some more work to do on the downside. I think today, I share your view on this, Larry, I think we're probably topping later today, and I think this thing stalls out. And then we resume the downtrend. And, uh, and I heard one of your callers, I believe the gentleman's name was Bob, was looking at a target for a turning point in the vicinity of October the 4th. I do as well. Uh, I think that's going to be a low. Uh, so wow. we'll see. The, uh, the weekly chart, this is not the weekly chart we have on the screen. This is the futures, by the way. Um, but the, the weekly chart that I sent you shows the cycles, the dominant low to low cycles, uh, going back for the last five years. And they are all Fibonacci related to the number 40. There's some math that goes on behind it, which is a little bit lengthy, so I won't go into that now. But uh, but 40 with a 1.236 and a 1.618 application tends to define the dominant weekly cycles on the charts. Um, and I believe we're trending lower. Okay. That's what else can I say about uh, a trending lower? Uh, vision. Well, let's look at the second chart, Larry. Okay. And what this is, is a plot of what I call price velocity. Some people might call it rate of change or momentum. Mm -hmm. I'm an engineer by training, so I call it price velocity. It essentially measures the, the speedometer of the S&P 500 on a weekly basis. I look back uh, seven weeks, 14 weeks, and, uh, and 21 weeks. And uh, this gives me a pretty good, pretty good sense of uh, of, of what the, the trend is is doing. And as those dots show, they are still headed south. And this info is current as of about 30 minutes ago. And those dots, those red dots, the green dots, and the blue dots will have to turn up uh, to indicate that the cycle low is in place. That has not happened yet. Um, okay. So um, I, I think we have some more downside work to do. Okay, now we have a question for one of our, our listeners here in the den, and that is, uh, do you use any fundamental analysis at all? No, I don't, Larry. I'm a technician, 100% technician. I mean, I follow the news. I follow political events. I watch the news every day. I have either CNBC or Fox or Bloomberg running in the background. Uh, so I'm very mindful of what goes on. But does it uh, does it have any impact on my expectations for what I believe the market is like?
for me to do the short and a long answer together. No, no, I'm I'm a 100% technician. Okay, that's what I want to know because I'm in the same camp as you. I I watch some of this stuff today. They were telling me about this explosive move in Ever Evergrande and stuff, you know. And someone, our friend Roman over in the UK or over in uh, Hong Kong, told us that the, it was not uh, 2.7. It's actually Hong Kong dollars, so it was basically 13 cents. And I think the total value of the thing is only 34 cents. So, I mean, it was really, a, it was just basically insignificant. But you see this stuff all the time. And there's always, you know, that's how they make their money is having the pundits on, just like you and I are doing right now, Stan. <laughs> but we do it with technical stuff, so it makes it a little bit different. Uh, we have one other question before we go on to the uh, final chart here. And that is, do you see anything in the charts that would indicate there would be a crash scenario coming? This is our question from someone in uh, actually that is from Nevada. Someone's asking me that question. No, I don't. Uh, you know, those strong down moves are usually associated with monthly cycles that span between 49 months and 80 months. Mm -hmm. And we're not there yet. And mm -hmm. I don't think we're at a major top yet. Although I think we are in a decline right now. This mm -hmm. is what I call a, a 34 week cycle decline. It's expanded a little bit. Uh, but mm -hmm. nominally, the, the intermediate cycle I have found is about 34 weeks, eight months, bottom to bottom. This one's probably going to expand to 12, possibly 13, you know, 1.6, 1 1.8 expansion. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but no, a major top, I believe, yet to come. I think it probably occurs in early 2023. And then that's the one that's that's the one where you shut the door or what is it? What did you say? <laughs> shut the door and raise it. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's one of those kinds of tops uh, where you close the door. And, yeah. But we're not there yet. Uh, just and when the daily chart comes up, we can we can amplify on that. But I'm seeing a pattern here that's worthy of, 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 of scrutiny under a microscope um, that uh, indicates that the S&P, the market is measured by the S&P is essentially filling the gap. It snapped back up to the 50 day moving average, which was mm -hmm. formerly support now resistance because we're trading underneath it mm -hmm. and the 15 day moving average is coming downhill. We're basically nudged right against that and it has a downward slope. So I think we stole out right in here. Three day counter trend moves are fairly common. Sometimes they can be four, sometimes they can be five, but three is the most common. I think we stole out here later today. Could possibly carry into tomorrow. But uh, I think sh very, very shortly, I think the downtrend will resume. What I would like to see is uh, when this thing is done, is we get down and tag the 200 day moving average. Okay, that's it, that 41. Listen, thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on around the 4th or 5th of October, okay? I look forward to it. Thank you. you. Put it on the calendar. Thank you so much, Stan. Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. Stan Harley. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. 
Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we had a, a question about coffee. Uh, there was a big report that came out uh, a few days ago saying that the uh, supplies of coffee were going to be, you know, hurt for quite a while because of a freeze or whatever it was that they had down in Brazil. Um, but as you can see here, the market sold off and stayed low for a couple of days. And then when the news was over, it started moving up yesterday and today. So they're a perfect example, again, of, you know, the news is following the trend. So pay close attention to that stuff. Another request that we had was to take a look at the December cattle because we were watching this at the 382 retracement here just the other day. I'll cover bonds in just a minute, folks. I know several people have a question on that, and I'll do that after. You'll notice here on December cattle, we had the big down move. We had the one-day rally right to the 382, you know, backed off another five cents, and now we're in this trading range. I assume we're getting ready to make a little ABCD pattern just back up to near that 382 level one more time. So let's take a quick look at the bonds. We're going to look here at the notes uh, because you know what I should do? Let's just do that since I am on the show here and we can bring this chart up for to see it where we are. By the way, we should be topping in the S&P right now based on a little bit of wild guess. Let's move up here to the uh, TY. Where are you? TY, 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 TY. TY is right after the old TY. Okay, there we go. Oh, boy, this was I talking about this or what? Shut the front door and raise the rent. By the way, folks, that's, that, uh, that uh, saying comes from a movie, uh, Support Your Local Sheriff, with uh, Cleavon Little and James Gardner. And uh, that was, he was the sheriff. Anyway, let's get this up here so you can see this. This is absolutely, you can see where we are. We at the proverbial moment of truth here in this Treasury note. This is the one that, you know, we were talking about it getting to that point, And you can see that's where we are right now. And so that's why we were paying close attention to that. We've gone from 135 down to 132. That's equivalent to six points in the bonds. And so that's what we're watching. This is why it's so very, very important here. It's a 135 pattern. Any move below 132, half a point lower, uh, and that's going to be awfully, awfully negative. Now, let's just uh, play the devil's advocate here, and we'll take a look at the Treasury bonds, and you're going to see, voila, the same thing. And you'll get this up here so we can take a quick look at it here. And then you'll see what I'm talking about here with the bonds so that we're watching it very, looking at the same thing. Here is the bond move. And as you can see it right here, uh, Tucker, I will try to, uh, 
I will try to do the uh, well. I will do it. I will do the oil after we're done here with the bonds. There's your there's your bonds. We had the one three five pattern. You know, it had a beautiful A B C D right into the Fed time at that sixty four fifteen level. If you looked at that on a on a hourly basis, you would have been able to see uh, just a lovely uh, three eight two pattern. And then bada bing, bada boom, and down you go. And we're at major support. Let's just update this right now because we are at flat out major support here in the bonds, just like we are in the notes, folks. The notes is a little easier because the notes are taking out the lows of uh, September by quite a bit, but the bonds aren't. That's a very important thing to look at. So here is what we're looking at. There's your, well, you don't see it yet, but you will send your money in and you'll get it. Here's your hourly chart on the bonds you're making the abcd pattern right here now remember you go back to september 7th we have already broken down below that september 7th by a lot let's just look at that again here uh with the uh with with the the treasury notes so you'll see that th this is a big day folks this is a huge day whether this has anything to do with the stock market stuff you know i'm not sure but you know what? Nobody else is either. So that's the good part. This is very important. I think it's going to hold here in the notes because it looks like the bonds might be holding. But uh, anything below this 132 level in the notes is uh, sets up an ABCD down into, uh, you know, high interest rate area. And that's going to be another interesting thing to uh, pay close attention to as we watch some of these things. So, OK, any questions? 877-927-6648. And we'll be happy to uh, answer any questions that we can. And if we don't know the answers, we'll make something up that sounds pretty good. All right. One other question someone was asking about is the old slippery black gold, none other known to you as the crude oil market. And I'm trying to find it in the old because I shorted some today and I'm just barely hanging on. Hold on one second. We'll get this daily up here. And we'll see here where we are. There we go. Hold on one second. I'll get this up here. We are ready to get up to the 78% level, folks. We are within a heartbeat of what I think will be a very interesting trade. And that's going to get us up here to our trading at 73.36 right now in the November. And I think it's going to get about another 50 pips higher up there at the 73.70 uh, level. And from that level, I think we'll see a pretty good correction. The pullback that we had uh, just a few days ago was an exact 61% retracement down there at 69.60. If you'd have done a uh, just a simple, you know, Gartley pattern on that, you would have been able. In fact, I've got it. I've got it up here right now. Uh, I'll just draw it in. Well, you can see it. You know, I don't have to draw it in. You guys are smart enough to figure that out. You'll see the exact low was exactly 61% at uh, 69.43. Uh, that was the exact low. And you can see we took off. Uh, we had virtually no correction on the way up. That little little burp that we had yesterday was uh, not even close to a 382 retracement. So this is interesting because we're getting up to that 786 on the daily. So I hope that uh, gives you some information. Because if we get above that, you could be looking at higher prices uh, in the crude oil market, which would be uh, a little contra-thinking to what I'm thinking at. But, you know, they don't always listen to what I have to say. So that's pretty much it. Okay, now one other question someone asked, and that is about we've done, we've did the crude oil. And the other question they had was about Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Just a minute. We've got that one here for you. I I think we're looking at this getting a lot of negative press for some reason i don't know what the reason is but we'll get this hourly chart up here and see what we've done so far today and uh, oh i see a couple of big big numbers that we're looking at. oh look at this yeah we're here right in the old ballpark here let's get this up here you'll see the apple is uh, only making a uh NKE, Bo, I'm going to do NKE for you, and I will do that before the break comes up. There's the Apple. You can see. Oh, I hope I got Nike. Yeah, I do have Nike. But it's made a 382 off the high, folks. That was today's high, and uh, it was spot on. Look at this. I just put it in here. There, there's your there's your 32% retracement. It was the high of the day today in Apple at 147.50. It was a 78% retracement of the high on the 17th. And it was 61% from the high on the 14th. So if you like Fibonacci numbers, that'll do it for you. And I'm going to have a break here pretty soon. But let me get Nike up here. I think I have that from a long time ago. But again, I up, shut the front door and raise the rent. I do have it. And we'll get this up here. Oh, my goodness. This stock has got more gaps than a... 
my report card from the fifth grade. Hold on just a second here. We'll get this up here. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get this night. Well, I'm going to talk about Nike when we come back from the break because it's going to take me a second here to actually work on this chart. So let's get this up here, and then we will take a look at it to see where we are here. i got to get rid of these cycles that are in here for one thing. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. I had to turn the camera off because I was afraid my uh, uh, memory would uh, – I don't know what the reason why I turned it off. I Just a little, little too much pressure for me to have that video on. I don't like looking at it. I guess I have to train myself to do it. Uh, you know, and it, it's, the problem is, folks, when you're a dead ringer for Mitch Buchanan, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, it's, uh, it's a cross I have to bear. Take a look at the Nike chart. I don't know much about it, but if you look at those three little hash marks that I put in there showing the swings, the three-day swings, they're all absolutely perfectly the same. Three days, same amount. Three days, same amount. Three days, same amount. 
If you think these markets don't repeat, folks, do a little homework with something like make Nike, and you'll be able to see that repetition in there. So this is, to me, and Steve Rhodes just Skyped me, that looked like it's uh, Nike was getting ready to uh, go down because it's a three-day rally. Every time we've had a three-day rally or the last two, it's gone down. So this is the third one. It's either giving you a good chance here or maybe it's not. But you know what your risk is. If it's up the fourth day, something is probably wrong. So that's what we want to keep in mind. Folks, thanks a lot for helping to support the uh, family here uh, in Tucson. It was a terrible tragedy. Uh, it was a death in the family. Uh, uh, it was actually a suicide of a young man. And when the mother came in and saw the boy, he literally, she literally had a stroke and almost died. She was been in intensive care for quite some time. The father has been, uh, been able to work because he's got two little kids to take care of. So the whole neighborhood's been helping out. And so uh, I thought maybe the folks here with TFNN, gosh, that they chip in. I certainly appreciate it. And our good friend Bubba down there in Faraday, Louisiana, he said to me on the phone, he said, I'll match whatever you guys bring in. And believe me, he did. And it made everybody a whole lot happier. So Bubba, we love you. And keep those cards and letters coming in. When I went down to visit him a couple times, he went to school with Jimmy Swigert. Mel Till Mel, uh, Mickey Till Mickey Gilly and none other than the killer himself. You know who he is, baby. We love you. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow.